This is the biggest mistake that I see people make all of the time when they start their GLP-1 journey is they continue to eat a lot of the things that they were eating before and then they get super frustrated because it's not working. The older we get, especially over the age of 35, the more insulin sensitive we become. If you're insulin resistant, if you have PCOS, you are inflamed. You are going to struggle with losing weight while you're inflamed. So what's the fastest way to get rid of your inflammation? Number one, I want to scream as loud as possible from the rooftops to go gluten free. When you have PCOS or insulin resistance, you eat gluten, your body starts to attack the gluten, which then causes inflammation. When you have inflammation, you can't lose weight. Secondary to that, if you're inflamed, if you have insulin resistance, sugar is going to affect you a whole lot differently. It does someone without those things. Something as simple as oatmeal, if you do not pair it with protein and fiber, it is going to spike your sugar, make you hungrier, and keep you from losing weight. Most people who have insulin resistance and PCOS need a lower carbohydrate intake. Does that mean you go keto? No. Does that mean you go under 100 grams of carbs? No. Usually the magic number in my experience with my clients is somewhere around 120 to 150 grams of carbs a day and keep that in the morning and not at night. And then lastly, you guys gotta move. Do you have to do 10,000 steps? No. Do you need to get out and walk every single day? Absolutely. Having three, 4,000 steps a day or having less than that, a lot of you guys have less than that because you're working from home, doesn't help anything. 30 minutes of walking, no matter how fast or slow, it lowers cortisol levels by 70%, lowers insulin resistance, and helps you stay in a calorie deficit.